There we go. And uh, there's our feeding station, of course. Junior. I'm shaking a little bit and just trying to hurry to get ready and whatever. Power pole. And uh, I'm just getting ready to go. All right, guys. Um, I will see you in the next leg of our trip. Well, guys, just came into Kentucky. I probably should have my phone the other way. But it's nice and hilly. And, um... Yeah, it's pretty nice. Still, I prefer Michigan in the northeastern part of the Lower Peninsula in the fall. It looks like a good wind would knock that building down, right down the hill, doesn't it? Or else, like the Flying Nun, it would just pick it right up. <laughs> yeah. Well, here we are, Turkey Foot Road. Yeah, we're in Kentucky, all right. <laughs> Anyway, yep, so we're, we just crossed over a couple minutes ago, and I uh, thought I'd better grab the phone, and we're probably, what, an hour or so from Lexington? Maybe a little more. A little more than an hour? Maybe not. We're going past Lexington, though. Okay, before you turn that off. Yeah. Ask God for what you need. Praise him when he answers. I don't know exactly what that verse says. So you, you've got some something to say on it now. We need to give praise because he answered prayer. Oh. We praise. didn't get dead. <laughs> <laughs> no. Pete did we did pray. Pete led us in prayer before we left, um, for safe travels, and he answered in a very strong way where we could have easily been killed. Right? Slaughtered slaughtered in the middle of the expressway. Everybody's stopping. Do you see that? I see that. I see that. I okay, 7175 South is one mile, and that's where we go. I am vlogging. Okay, so everybody sees what a basket case you are when you're riding. <laughs> I am a basket case when I'm riding. I, I will easily acknowledge that. <laughs> it said watch for traffic backups anyway, so at this area. So in one mile. Okay, guys, I'm going to go. I probably should have covered that, blurred out that guy's license plate in front of us, but in case you didn't get it, it's 387 JCC. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so I will see you guys later. Bye. Hi, guys. I forgot to look at what time it is. I'm going to say, I'm going to say there's no clocks out there. And unlike our car, her clock doesn't stay on. See, our clock... If you push the volume button, that comes back on. Hmm. Anyway, we just got through rush hour traffic in Lexington. Maybe we're 4.30 to 5 o'clock, I'm going to say, ish. But we just got through rush hour traffic in Lexington. We are now on the far side of Lexington. We just got probably a half hour or less to get to the motel. We left at about 9.30. So it'll it'll be eight hours, and we didn't stop to eat or anything. We made two pit stops at rest areas, and that's it. The rest of the time was driving. Um, to get my squawker in the trunk, we had to take it apart. A big pain in the neck. Why do all these people have out-of-state license plates? <laughs> Gwen's getting gas. So, all right, I'm going to go. I will see you later. Bye. Okay, 513, 86 degrees here in Nicholasville, Kentucky. We are at the motel. Um, Gwen just went in to sign us in, check us in or whatever. We saw tons of great restaurants. Like, there's a ton. Like they got a Zaxby's. I've always wanted to try their chicken. They got a seafood place. I got all kinds of places. So I told Gwen, I said, you thought I was coming down here to spend time with you. I said, no, I was coming to 
try out new restaurants. <laughs> what? I should probably get my credit card. <sighs> they require payment here? Well, I put it in online, but they might want to collect the extra card. They probably will. So, I'm pretty sure we'll be on the first floor since it's handicapped, a handicapped accessible room. Which I'm actually kind of excited about being able to ride my squawker up and down the hall. Whee! <laughs> anyway, so we made it here. We're at the motel and... And there's nothing else to say, so I'll see you later. So we got in here. We got our first meal in Kentucky. We didn't stop to eat all day, so. Oh, do I feel stupid? My box has the name of the meal right on top. Oh, we're oh, counting the pieces of chicken. Anyway, this is what we got. We had some snacks on the way. We had some cheese and I had some salami. But other than that, anyway. So this is dinner. It's got some. Can I sit with you? <sighs> yes. This is dinner. It's got some garlic bread and some sauce, some chicken things, some French fry things, some coleslaw, some ketchup. Gwen's is the same, only she got less food than I did, but. I only eat the one meal a day, so as we've discussed before, I am all set up here on my desk. I brought all kinds of snacks. The reason being, um, in case, you know, Gwen had appointments or had to go somewhere and I didn't, you know, she left me here to starve with no food. That was my plan, at least one of the days. <laughs> so... Um, Popcorn cakes, 45 cents for, those are very low carb. Some thins, 50 cents. Those are the sesame and sea salt, and that is rosemary and sea salt. Skinny sticks, cinnamon sugar, more cinnamon than sugar. So they are called skinny sticks. That was my splurge, combos. I love those, 225 for that big bag, and those were only 60 cents. And Crystal Light, that one's not Crystal Light. Crystal Light, 75 cents. So that's, and then in the fridge I have salami and cheese and cream cheese for on those mini cakes or those crackers or whatever. All right, time to eat. <laughs> Did you pray? Great, now we're going to choke. Okay, guys. I'll see you later. Bye. Hi, guys. It's, um, I don't know what time it is. Oh, wait. Here's my tablet. One second. 821. And uh, I'm just going to do the vlog first. And then I'll put a blog up. I'll have probably some stuff on one or the other that won't be on the other. But for the most part, they'll be the same. So I'm going to do that. I just had some fun playing my uke. I brought my um, fancy one with me. Beautiful. And I've been playing for a while. And We have one of those rooms where you have a door between your room and the next room. And Gwen said that when I started playing my uke that the guy turned the TV up really loud next door. <laughs> oh, well, sorry. Um, but anyway, so I'm... I'm anxious to get in bed and relax after um, Gwen drove, I rode, but still just, it's a long, it's tiring when you're in the car for, you know, most of the day and it, but we had a great dinner and ready to chill out and face another day tomorrow. I don't, I don't remember what was on the schedule, but I'm sure we'll find out tomorrow. I know it's on my schedule. About 15 showers, maybe five a day. They have a nice, beautiful, handicap accessible shower that I will have no trouble using. 
So I'm kind of excited about that. Um, and plenty of hot water. Um, you know, those are just a few things I miss about living in the RV, taking a nice long hot shower. But anyway, um, so that's it for today. And uh, took all my clips out of my hair. All of my Pontiac clips. Oops. Pontiac was shaped like Pontiac symbol. That's what I was talking about the other day. Did you get that? And uh, Maisie apparently is quite depressed. Pete has sent me a half a dozen or so pictures of her looking out the window. He said she's been she when they when he got home she just kept staring and staring and staring at the car, the suburban, waiting for me to get out. And he said she's quite depressed. Well, that's very sad to me. I can't I can't help it. It's very sad. But I'll be home in a few days and we'll have a wonderful reunion. <laughs> So, um, an update on that supplement I was telling you about I was taking, it is, uh, it is really doing some good stuff. I won't go into a bunch of details, but every single day I'm seeing an improvement. And, uh, although, you know, I still use, need my squawker, but I can like walking around in this room and stuff and putting all my stuff away. I was able to do it with, they still had pain, obviously, but no problems. And, um. So that was pretty exciting because the last month or so has been pretty rough. So I'm pretty excited now. All right. I will see you guys tomorrow. Whatever's on the schedule, I'll share. And I uh, hope you guys all have a terrific Tuesday. Take care. God bless and good night.